For our next set of example, seventh example, the limit of alpha sine alpha squared over alpha squared as alpha approaches zero. So from our theorem, one of our theorem is kung may constant ako within a certain function, pwede ko siyang palabasin. Okay? So, yung constant ko dito under my limit sign is the alpha. Okay? So, alpha, okay, nasa labas na siya ng aking limit symbol, times the limit of sign alpha squared over alpha squared as alpha approaches 0. And another theorem, limit of sine a over a as a approaches 0 is equal to 1. So, kung the same yung aking sine na angle sa aking denominator, okay, so that will be equal to 1 as long as yung alpha ko will approach to 0. That is equal to 1. So, alpha times 1 is equal to alpha. So, this is my answer. Next is the limit of x times cosecant of 3x as x approaches 0. Based sa pre-calculus subject about fundamental identities topic, cosecant is equal to 1 over sine. Okay, so yung cosecant ko, papalitan ko ng 1 over sine. So, denominator yung aking sine dapat. So, sine 3x pa din. And based sa theorem, limit of sine a over a as a approaches 0 is 1. So, as we can see, pwede kong lagyan ito ng denominator dito sa baba, which is 3x. But then, kung yung x ko ibababa ko, kulang pa din ako ng 3. So, I have to multiply 3 over 3 sa aking limit, okay? Which is equal to 1 din naman. 3 over 3 is 1. Kailangan ko lang yung 3 para magamit ko siya sa aking theorem. Okay, so this will result to 3x over 3 sine 3x. Okay, then, ibababa ko yung aking numerator na 3x dito sa denominator of my denominator. That is the same. Okay, so the limit of 1 over 3 sine 3x over 3x as x approaches 0. This is my resulting limit. And another rule or another theorem is the limit of the quotients. Okay, so this will result to the limit of 1 over limit of 3 sine 3x over 3x. Based sa another theorem, yung about sa constant, okay, constant 3 pwede ko siyang ipalabas doon sa aking limit symbol. So, for the denominator, nasa labas na yung aking 3. And, another theorem about sa sign, pwede ko na siyang ma-apply. Okay? Dito sa baba. Okay? This will be equal to 1. And, limit of 1 is, of course, the constant 1. So, the limit of 1 is 1 over 3 times etong limit ko, sin 3x over 3x is equal to 1 based on my theorem. So, this will result to 1 third. The next is the limit of sine alpha times sine 2 alpha over 1 minus cos alpha. As alpha approaches 0. So, based sa pre-calculus again about the double angle identities, okay, may sine 2 alpha ako dito. In order to combine to sine alpha lang, okay, I have to substitute sin 2 alpha by 2 sin alpha cos alpha. Okay? So, papalitan ko yung sin 2 alpha ko ng 2 sin alpha cos alpha. And then, ikakombine ko yung sin alpha sa sin alpha dito sa loob. So, that will result to 2 sin squared alpha cos alpha over 1 minus cos alpha. So, dalawa na yung sin alpha ko dito. So, naka-square na siya. And, based ulit sa Pythagorean identity sa pre-calculus, sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So, isa-substitute ko yon dito sa aking sine squared 
alpha, but I have to move cosine squared x sa left side ng aking equation into the right side of my equation, meaning magiging negative yung cosine squared x ko dito kasama ng 1 or yung positive 1. So that will result to 1 minus cosine squared alpha. Okay, ito yung result ng aking sine squared alpha. And factoring out 1 minus cos squared alpha, that is 1 minus cos alpha times 1 plus cos alpha. Then simplifying the equation, I can cancel out 1 minus cos alpha sa numerator versus my denominator. So my remaining limit will be the limit of 2 cosine alpha times 1 plus cos alpha. So wala na akong denominator. Then I can substitute already the alpha equal to 0. So 2 times cos 0 times 1 plus cos 0. Cos 0 in radian is equal to 1. So 2 times 1 times 1 plus 1 or 2 times 1 times 2 since 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so if you have any questions, just comment down on our discussion section in our Schoology.